Once there was a little boy called Mark. Mark lived in a small town and in this town when it was winter time it was very difficult for the people to grow food. Everybody was usually very cold and hungry too. Mark had a big family so whatever food they had they had to share it around everyone and they were grateful and they were very happy to be with one another. Mark would still play around with the children in the family and the children in the town and he loved his parents. One day Mark was walking through the icy street. He just brought an apple and he was excited to taste it when he saw an old lady sleeping alone on the streets. Oh. Would you like my apple? The old lady looked surprised and took the apple. Thank you very much, little boy, for being so kind. I want to give you this. She gave Mark a cooking pot. This is no ordinary cooking pot. It's magical. It makes any food that's warm and hot. All you need to do is say this chant. Cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me up something that's warm and that's hot. Suddenly, the pot began to shake. And out shot five roast potatoes. And the old lady said, stop magical cooking pot. And no more potatoes flew out. Mark tasted a potato and he could feel the warmth rising from his toes all the way to the top of his head. This is delicious and amazing. Thank you so... Mark went to thank the old lady but she disappeared. So Mark took the magical cooking pot home and he tested it out with his family. Cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me up something that's warm and that's hot. And out shot some delicious warm soup. Stop magical cooking pot. And the family tasted some delicious warm soup. And they could feel the warmth rising from their toes and going up to their heads. This is delicious. We have to share this with everybody that's sleeping outside in the cold, Mark said. So Mark went around town with his cooking pot and he shared the food with all the people that were cold and alone. The town became a much happier place. Everybody would praise Mark and come to him and he would evenly and fairly share out the food to everyone. However, the mayor of the town heard about this cooking pot. Hmm. A magical pot that produces warm food. Why, I could host so many dinner parties at my house if I have this. <laughs> I must get this magical cooking pot. So, the mayor waited until one day when Mark was at school and the mayor snuck into the house and stole the cooking pot. He took it back home. Now, if I remember right, there's a little chant. It goes, cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me up something that's warm and that's hot. The cooking pot began to shake. And out popped some toast. But when the mayor looked at the toast, what? It was completely burnt. And cold. Ugh, cold burnt toast. How is that even possible? said the mayor. Fine. Cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me up something that's warm and that's hot. The cooking pot began to shake. And it produced carrot soup. When the mayor tasted the carrot soup. Ah! Ah! It's disgusting! It's cold! It's Ice cold, the mayor said. How is that possible? Right, one more time. Cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me.
me up something that's warm and that's hot. The cooking pot began to shake. And boop, 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 boop. out shot warm porridge. Ah, finally, said the mayor. Ah, delicious. Mm. However, the porridge didn't stop coming out. It began to fill up the mayor's room. Oh, oh dear. Oh, uh, stop, cooking pot. The cooking pot didn't listen. It still kept making porridge more and more and more until it was up to the mayor's waist. Oh, 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 uh, stop, cooking pot. But it didn't stop until it was more and more and more until it was coming out of the windows of the mayor's house, down the stairs and out the door and along the street. The people walking by saw something strange. Warm porridge was shooting out of the mayor's chimney. Everywhere they could hear the mayor calling for help. Help! 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 Nobody in the town wanted to listen. Serves you right for being greedy, they said. And they played around in the porridge, making porridge snow people. Lovely. They did some skating on the porridge. Wee, wee, wee. Mark heard about what was happening and he felt bad for the mayor. He went to the mayor's house, took the cooking pot and said, Stop, magical cooking pot. And the porridge stopped coming out. Thank you. Thank you so much, said the mayor. Thank you. I promise. I'll never be greedy again. Uh, we should share the cooking pot with everybody. But please, I need to get rid of this porridge in my house. Hmm, Mark thought. I know. He grabbed the cooking pot and said, Cooking pot, cooking pot, magical cooking pot. Cook me up something that's warm and that's hot. And out shot hot chocolate. The hot chocolate shot all over the house and began to melt the porridge away. And also, everybody grabbed a cup. Mm, delicious, delicious, delicious. Stop, magical cooking pot, Mark said. Mark was left in charge of the cooking pot, and over time, he became the new mayor of the town, and he shared the food to everybody whenever it was winter time. The